Hi, welcome to this demonstration of showing you how to further secure your FortiGate VM in Google Cloud. Those are utilizing two features that are supported in Forda OS. That's called um, Shield of VM, which defends against uh, boot or kernel level malware or rootkits via secure boot, uh, virtual trusted platform module enabled measured boot and integrity monitoring. The other option to enable is confidential computing, a hardware-based memory encryption to help ensure data and applications can't be read or modified while in use. These features are supported in Forda OS 7.4.3 and later. The instance types supported are N2D and C2D. Below are references for further review of what is Shield of VM in Google documentation and confidential computing overview. The third option is a write-up uh, on Fortinet.com explaining what is confidential computing. Now let's get started. Let's go to our Google Cloud account. And here I'm showing you there are two separate options for deployment of FortiGate. The options are BYOL, bring your own license, or pay as you go. Let's select pay as you go by clicking on the option and then going to the launch option. So here you can uh, click on launch. If you have a trial, there should be a 30-day trial for your account if you've never used it. In my account, I've already used the 30-day trial, so we're going to just launch it and get into the configuration screen. So here I'll walk through the options. We're just going to name it uh, FortiGate CC-1. Select the existing accounts, right? And then right now it's uh, by default, it'll select 7.4.4 as a um, order OS version. And here is the critical part, right? Where you have the instance where you're enabling the Enable confidential VM and then enable shield the VM. And then we'll go down and select the series types, right? As I said earlier, and 2D is supported. So we'll select that option. And then we'll go through, since this is just showing you enabling those two features, I'm not going to really set up this FortiGate with the networking. There is a private network that's established and there is an external IP address. So we'll utilize that to look at the GUI later once it's deployed. Uh, leave all the options defaulted and click deploy. Here it'll go through all the deployment and we'll kind of fast forward through that and come back when it's fully deployed. So as you can see here, it's almost complete. Here it is fully deployed and we can look at the details. In the details, you can see that the confidential VM is enabled and this flag is set to true. So is the shield VM below showing you that that's also enabled. And that's all you have to do. So we'll wait for it to um, fully deploy and access the GUI and show you that, you know, everything else is the same from a FortiGate perspective. So once the system is fully uh, initialized and running, you can access the graphical interface uh, using the password supplied when you created the instance. And then you have to change the password. FortiGate will ask you to do that. And after you change, you can log in utilizing the new password. And you can see that the graphical interface for the FortiGate that's deployed in Google Cloud is identical to uh, what's you know available throughout the Forto OS. Here, the initial screen you'll see is the latest, what's new in Forto OS 7.4. You can view that or just disable it. And again, here is the default options, the dashboard, you know, network policy and objects, and so forth that you can go and create, you know, your policies for. To utilize the FortiGate in your environment with all the proper configurations. Thanks for watching.